Uh, coming up here, we're going to get really hot. In fact, here's the breakdown to the next few days. Tomorrow, a hot summer afternoon, humid, just a small chance of rain. I do think we have a period of rain and thunder coming in Sunday, middle part of the day right now. Thundery at times on Monday and then Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week. we got a hot stretch of weather setting up tonight. Breezy, starlit summer night. Really nice night. The wind out there is fantastic right now. A little back deck time this evening, I think, is just in order. 77 degrees overnight tonight. Breezy, hot, muggy tomorrow. Threw in a 30% chance for rain, but overall rain not likely in your backyard. However, around the thunderstorms looking more likely on Sunday with a cooler high around 90 degrees. We had more sea breeze showers drift in from the south. A few more now trying to make it into Angelina County as we get closer to the sunset. These will fade away, but you can see the showers starting and originating just as they come on shore and then they move to the north and fall apart. Future Skycast tomorrow morning. Keep your eye up here to the top of the screen where it says Future Skycast. There'll be a, a, a dying thunderstorm complex that should make it to Mount Pleasant late morning tomorrow. So that's about a 30% chance that we get. And then a few of those sea breeze showers tomorrow afternoon again. So all in all, just a 30% chance, a hot day, highs in the mid 90s. Then we go into Saturday night. Here comes that next thunderstorm complex. And this one looks to last a little bit longer into much of our Sunday, Sunday morning into Sunday afternoon. As a result, the high only can bounce back to about 90, maybe up to 93 if we can get enough sunshine. And then Sunday evening, those showers fade away. Monday morning, a warm front begins to stiffen up and move through here, and that should bring us another round of showers and thunderstorms. As for tomorrow, the severe weather threat should stay north of Tyler, closer to Interstate 30 with a slight risk over southern parts of Oklahoma. I really don't think we'll see much of anything up toward Gilmer, Jefferson or Mount Pleasant, but right now Storm Prediction Center has that area outlook. Then next week, this dome of hot air begins to spread to the east. Notice how it flattens out here. So it'll be spreading eastward, bringing with it some temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. So 90 on Sunday, that's the cool day. Enjoy it because it's 93 on Monday, 94 Tuesday, then Wednesday, Thursday, 97 and 98, about four to five degrees above average rainfall over the next seven days. Again, it kind of hugs where that thunderstorm complex comes through on Sunday. So three quarters of an inch to an inch and three quarters from Gilmer to Jefferson. Tyler, we may struggle to get a quarter of an inch. Henderson also struggling to get a quarter of an inch. But over parts of deep east Texas, especially Shelby County, you may find yourselves with about an inch and a quarter of rainfall. And then the farther southwest you live toward Crockett, for instance, a lot less than that. We need some rain and also some rain to wash some of the pollens out of the air. The mold spores remain on the moderate side, so we'll take any rain that we can get. All right, tonight, just a gorgeous night. Fair sky, 76, 77 for the overnight low. A few passing clouds and that wind out of the south at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Tomorrow afternoon, as we said, it'll be hot. Could be a couple of p.m. showers down to the south. Otherwise, high temperature about 95 to 96, maybe 90 up toward Gilmer, 91 uh, over toward Mineola, thanks to those early showers up in that part of the state early in the day. All right, here's your Bale Scott White Texas by Joint Hospital 7-day forecast. Stray storm, otherwise hot tomorrow, 96. Round of rain Sunday, highs around 90 degrees. Scattered thunderstorms Monday, an early chance, then clearing, and then the heat is on. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, morning lows, upper 70s, daytime highs, upper 90s, maybe some heat headlines by the end of next week.